Hello boys and girls, Warfighter here. Um, today we're going to review a Star Wars fan film titled School of War. It is directed by Heath Gleason. He's also the guy that directed Intractable. Since it wasn't long, uh, I can't really go too in depth with it. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to break this down to my pros and my cons list. Pros. I love the way it's shot. I love the, uh, the color choices used for each shot. And the framing, like, there's a lot of, uh, silhouetting going on. That's not a word, is it? It's not a word. That's a word now. There's a lot of, like, shots where you can see, um, you can see the background and the characters are more, like, very dark. It has great shots. The effects are great, like, the, with the lightsabers. And also, another point, it gives the sense that they, they are... The most dangerous warriors in the galaxy so you kind of see what their training regiments like you know kind of uh, like the art behind their their, their form their, their fighting and I, I really like that and also it opens with Bruce Lee talking which is great this is kind of a, a pro and a con there's not much dialogue it's good because then you get to see like their, their actions speak louder than words and you get to see that played out but also you know i would like to know i guess it's going to be the bridging between pros and cons i also like to know uh, like what's going on really like behind the action like why are they fighting i don't know it, it, it's nitpicking really because I, I understood everything that was going on just i would like more info cons i was watching it with my headphones on so Whenever a scene changed, the sound did this weird uh, transaction. It felt really forced. It didn't seem smooth. Really calmed all of a sudden. Wild waterfall. I know in the, in the beginning when Bruce Lee's monologue came up, it, it, it was kind of like it was real silent all of a sudden. You hear like the old like TV interview like audio waveform and it just kind of hit. Like I, did, I didn't even hear it in like um, slow fade into it. It just kind of like hit you right then. Then he started talking. It would have been nice if it would have faded in some. Um, maybe some like, I can't remember if there was any like ambient music in the background playing while it was talking. Because I, I literally, I, I, I watched it once. I watched the uh, film once. Then like all day, that the rest of the day I was busy. But uh, yeah man, um, then again, the, like I said, the cons, they're really nit nitpicky. Biggest one is just the audio. You've done a great storytelling. You've got great shot composition. Color grading was good. I guess just work on like how the audio levels. There we go. Audio levels. I guess my overall thoughts. I would give it a eight out of ten warfighters. Yeah, eight out of ten. It's pretty great. It gives a whole new dynamic to the Star Wars Jedi verse. And also, I would like to know. Um, it was a clever idea. I don't know if it was intentional that lightsabers didn't really cut nobody on contact. I don't know, are those just training sabers they used? If you're being a swordsman and you're training, you got like the wooden swords. Are those like the equivalent? They look like lightsabers, they sound like lightsabers, they operate just like a regular lightsaber except they don't cut through things. More like blunt objects. I would like to know that. But uh, yeah, uh, guys, that's my review on School of War, directed by Heath Gleason. Um, link will be in the description. Tell me what you guys think about it. And let's get a conversation going. If you're into Star Wars fan films, um, or just great storytelling short films in general, this would be for you. But uh, yeah, um, yeah, that's that's me. I'm, I'm gonna go now. All right. Okay, bye.